This segment was filmed before the announcement that Angel Reese was going to be back playing with the LSU Tigers. The saga continues down there with LSU women's basketball, okay? As we tape right now, okay? And we taping this on November 26th, all right? We still don't know what the hell is going on and why it's going on and what the infraction really was, and I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I know what's going on, but you, I, you I, might not, I, you might not want to believe what I'm talking about. All right, well, no, you my brother, so I'm gonna listen to what you got, got to say. Okay, mm -hmm. but, I but I, I just know that Kim Mulkey still is not, you know, giving us anything. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, so now people are wondering, people are speculating. Uh, some have mentioned that, hey, is this, is this the Shakira Richardson thing all over again? Where you got uh, who some would say a flamboyant, uh, outspoken, unapologetically black, black woman uh, who nah, uh, who was taking the task by white America largely. And because of then, Caitlin, because of Caitlin, yeah, and then you know, we see this backlash. Some are saying that others, others allege that Angel just has gotten in her own eyes bigger than the program. You no, know, gotta take online classes. You know, I can, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big time star. I'm one of the biggest stars come through this thing. You know, um, some speculate that it's been some looking down on other teammates. Some say some former teammates have said some things. We know that Flage Johnson mama and, and Angel's mama got into it on social media. Okay. A um, lot of stuff out here, y'all. A lot of stuff out here. And I, all I know is the hooping is getting lost. Okay, the hooping is getting lost. Because that girl, uh, uh, Anissa Morrow, went for 37 16 the other day. Okay, so it's still some hooping going on, but the hooping ain't being uh, discussed because you got this shit going on. And I get it. I get it. It's Angel Reese. The girl was spectacular last year. She had a hell of a summer run via social media and just in the media in general. So this is what people are wondering about, okay? And so I'm going to ask my brother. You going to ask me? Yes, I am, okay? Boy, boy. Hey, you, you got some of the deepest roots when it comes to supporting women's ball, okay? I've been saying that since we had put it on some, okay? This man used to coach women's intramural ball, even okay. And that's how DB go in love for the, yeah, for the women's game. All right, so I'm gonna yeah. ask you, okay. But before I do, okay, before I do, I need y'all to hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first. That is my brother Tim G. Jaco, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some again. Hit that subscribe button, share, 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 hit that like button as well. Put all of your people on it. T. What do you think, man? Do you think there are some parallels between what's going on with Angel Reese right now and what transpired previously with Shakira Richardson? Or are you more of the opinion that some are taking that Angel kind of then got ahead of herself and letting the hype, you know, cloud of judgment and take her eye off the, uh, off the ball? And some say take it out, taking her eyes off her books because they, they speculating that the suspension got to do with grades but we don't know what what say you what grades had to do with anything in all these years of collegiate basketball what if grades had to do with anything let me break it down let me break it down this is how i feel about it wholeheartedly now i have not delved into it as deeply as most have okay simply because when I saw the transfers come in to the LSU program, mm -hmm. uh, Van Lith. Van Lith also. Okay. And then Miss Morrow, correct? Hoping. Transfer, Hoping. right? It, it, okay. it, was really, it was really unfair that they won that championship, then got them two girls. 
Mm. And then and then we have uh the freshman, Miss Williams, correct? Is it Michaela Williams? It's not fair. the name correct. It no. is not fair. But you know, what you have right now is Kim Mulkey at the top of the ego mountain. Mm. There's ego, there's egos involved in this. Okay. Okay. Because Angel is looking at this thing going, before they came, you needed me. It didn't, and you might have had the same problems you had last year, this year, mm -hmm. but then the straightening is a little bit different. See, I want people to understand something. You might have been okay and accepting of the fact of whatever Angel Reese did, because she hasn't she hasn't been anybody but herself all this time. Mm -hmm. So who she was last year, I'm pretty sure she was she is this year so now mm. that you got a few issues that you willing to not swap you're not willing to swallow this year but you swallowed them last year angel delivers you a chip but this year you look around you go i got you i got you i got you huh? oh wait a minute you know what I can be, I can be the disciplinarian now. That's interesting. I ain't gotta take your, I ain't gotta take your BS. You know what? That's interesting. Stay at the house. I'll go on the road with Morrow and Williams and Van Lip and still go get the dub and it be fine. Y'all gotta remember now, do not displace anything about Kim Mulkey. And this is not a shot at Kim Mulkey. She's a very good coach. But let's just be honest. A lot came out about the Baylor program. Nobody want to act like that that happened. But a lot come out about the Baylor program. Brittany Griner, et cetera. Mm. But Brittany delivered her a title. Mm. No, I didn't say Kim Mulkey delivered Brittany a title. Brittany Griner delivered Kim Mulkey a title. But then when we needed her, Kim Mulkey, to talk about Brittany, she could not Get the mic hot enough to do it. I just want y'all to understand something. They need us. They need us. Okay? But now that the recruits are in play, the mm -hmm. transfer portal is as hot as a subway in New York. Okay. Cool. I don't need you, Angel. I still got ballers. I can still go win me a game whenever I get ready. You can stay right here, miss you three games. We don't need you at the Cayman Islands. We don't need you in none of that. We don't need you, baby. I'm good. I got two chips. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm saying. They act different when they don't need you no more. Now, full disclosure, I don't know everything that's going on, but I can tell you this. What, what is happening now has been happening for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, so that, that that's a hell of a take, T. That's a hell of a goddamn take because basically what you're saying then is whatever Angel on, whatever type of time she on, if she ain't in the books, that probably ain't nothing new. If no. she got an attitude problem, that probably ain't nothing new. No, but, but your ass probably dealt with it in the past, and you don't want to deal with it now because you got a girl. Look, again, yeah, I don't think. I don't think Paul heard me when I said with this girl. Uh, they didn't. They didn't. You, did. say it, you can say it again. You can say it again. Ain't no problem. This girl, Anissa, uh -huh. went for 37, mm -hmm. 16, 16 mm -hmm. rebounds. And in the college game, the rebounds still real. Now, this ain't the league. This ain't the NBA. Real rebound. Okay, these That's some real, real rebounds. Rebound. You, you, you still got to put an ass on somebody. All right. All right. She went 15 to 25 from the field. Okay. And this was against uh, uh, Virginia, okay? So when you got somebody that can do that and all the other girls that you mentioned as well, mm -hmm. you're right. Now she can say, okay, sit your ass down somewhere then. Mm -hmm. But last year, she probably wasn't going to do that. She wasn't going to do that. <laughs> and don't come at me, all you people. Let me, hold on. You let me do this. Do Solo me up. Solo me up. Solo me up if you don't okay. mind. Okay. Yes, let sir. Me, let me, let me just, let me just also say this to those of y'all out there who are going to comment on this very, 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 very clip. Okay. And say that Coach Moki 
he is a, I don't know, a disciplinarian or whatever you want to make cut out to be. Listen, Coach Moki is all about winning games. Mm-hmm. She all about winning games. Mm-hmm. And by any means that she can win games and get this check, that check means more than anything. Mm-hmm. This time around, okay, Angel went, put the happenings on Iowa, won the national title, MOP, all mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But deep down inside, Kim Moki don't like none of that. Just mm. like she don't like none of what Brittany Garana was, I'm gonna suspect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suspiciously say she didn't like who Brittany Griner was full and full. Because if that was the case, Kim that's Mokey what the report said, saw. That, that's definitely Kim, what the report saw. Kim Mokey would have said things, even in spite of who Brittany Griner was. She would have still said things about Brittany Griner in terms of who she was on the court. Who she was as a teammate, who she was after, whatever. Let's just keep it real. Black America, mm-hmm. they need us. They don't necessarily want to have us, but they got to keep winning. Mm. Let's keep that all the way real. Mm. Let's keep that all the way real. Mm. So, Angel Reese transferred from Maryland. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Came to LSU because LSU said, we need you. Kim brought her there, gave her the same old spiel, the same old okie doke. Hey, you're going to get the touches. You're going to be the focal point of the offense. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. Angel did what she do. Mm-hmm. And I guarantee you some of the same stuff that's been going on now went on back then. Mm-hmm. Cause I want to say LSU was a what were they? They won a they won a one seed last year. They was like what a three four seed, something like that last year. Okay. So they weren't even like at the top of the mountain for real for real. Mm-hmm. They were just kind of round in the bend. Mm-hmm. They weren't South Carolina. They weren't clear cut the best team in the in. Oh no, in the that, that, was, yeah, that, that was South right? Carolina. Yeah, right, right. So now here you are. You got your you got your second chip. And now here you are with this transfer portal flooding in these these talent these talents, mm. and you finally look over there and answer you go, I ain't gotta put up with your bullshit. Sit on down over there. Go, go on down there. Go on down there. What, what the last game? The last game she played, she played what like fourteen minutes, fifteen minutes, something like that. She didn't play much. I think she played like played, the first half. Yeah, and they, yeah, I think that's what it was. Mm-hmm. Didn't play none of the second half. Mm-hmm. So. Or was it a now I, I get now look all the way for real if it was uh if it was one of them situations where she was disrespectful in the locker room angel said some some real ignorant ass shit got it i got it totally understand do you think we have a right as fans to know Cause, yes because she making it seem like what what what's the thing she said Oh, uh, so Coach talking about when you know you'll you'll know, or when she I said when that, I, but she also said made, like made an analogy like when you discipline your child, like okay, it, it wop, you know, if uh his son, I call him wop. Yeah. Okay, so she so basically yeah. saying like if you had to discipline wop, would you tell mm-hmm. her? You know what I'm saying? So she made that mm-hmm. comparison like, uh, this is my house i'm the disciplinarian of this shit i ain't got to tell you what's going on type of thing to the reporters yeah but but also too though the reporters are going to speculate there's going to be this kind of press around your program mm-hmm. so either you can just come right out and, and 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 basically discuss and and tell angel hey look they gonna ask me what's up with you and i'm gonna tell them it's an in-house problem there were some things that went on that I'm handling internally as a coach. She's going to be missing for a while. And that's all I got to say about that. Because at this point in time now, it's not amateur sports now. This is for real, for real. This pro ball, in a sense. And shit, yeah. That girl was everywhere this something. And she was. She was everywhere this something. <laughs> and, and she deserved to be. She deserved to be. Truly, truly, truly did. Truly did. Truly did. 
But I, I'm just saying though, yeah, amateur shit. You're right. This, this ain't no goddamn. It, it's out. It's out now. These, these young ladies and these young and these men are, are trying to get the bag. They're trying to get money. And Angel Reese was as appealing and as she had that much of a of a of an appeal about her that you know. Okay, you wasn't gonna see Caitlin Clark doing Fenty. I, I, I don't know. I know that wasn't what she did. I think, but you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you're not gonna see that. You know what I'm saying. But Angel Reese has things going on out there on that plateau, modeling, doing different things, and whatever. It's do you what think? Do you think Malky is protecting Malky? Basically, alluded to she's protecting her. She's like, I'm no, always, no, no, I'm no, always no, gonna no, protect no. my my team. No, I always no, protect my no, girls. No, so. she's trying to protect. She's trying to protect her legacy. Mm -hmm. Kim Mulkey is trying to protect her. It's not about Angel. Now, now people are going to say, you wrong. How do you know? This is what I'll tell you. If she, she, I've never seen Kim Mulkey be at bat for a star yet. Mm -hmm. What she has said is, I'm the disciplinarian. I'm the coach. I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. Okay. It could be a deal, though, America. This could be just a business. This could be a business deal where you needed a 6'3 forward center who was a mean machine on the glass who going to get you a double-double every night, be testy, be a be be a enforcer inside and give give all that she gave last year. You got all of that. That was part of that business transaction, but now this year when it comes to something that maybe Angel may be struggling with, if it is truly disciplinarian, I think the best thing to do is to just tell people that it is disciplinary and it's inside the house. You ain't got to know what it is. If it's grades, if it's behavior, if it's whatever, you ain't got to know all that. All you got to know is, is that it's a disciplinary matter and it's settled inside here. Well, is that, is that basically what you're saying then? Is that, is that? Well, well Kim, Kim to me leaves a lot to be desired. She leaves a lot hanging out there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like she likes the suspense as well. Mm -hmm. It's like she wants you to know I got the reins on it, but the the disciplinary side of it, you know, it's like it's like don't question me, I got it. But really, it's kind of like I I kind of got it, but I but I'm comfortable knowing that I don't necessarily have to have it. I can just tell you go on sit down over there. I ain't got to handle it woman to woman, teacher mm -hmm. to player, mm -hmm. coach to player. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the thing that's missing to me in college ball in ways is the disciplinarian side of it, where basically there's a structure. This is how this is going to go. And if you don't fit that structure, if you feel like this doesn't work for you, then we got to settle it a different way. Maybe this maybe you need some time away from the team. Those are the things I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. But also, too, it don't hurt when Kim Moke is comfortable knowing that I got talent all around me. I got all kinds of talent. Mm -hmm. So, Angel, do I really need you? No, I don't. Like, I need you, but I risk winning with these three. Versus trying to deal with you and your ego. Because my whole approach is, I got to win. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. Is it winning or is it dealing with you? Is it is it me wanting to make sure you're with us? Or you, hey, you, be with, you need to be with us, but I got to coach these girls. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that, that's just the way I look at it. Looking at it from the standpoint of it, uh, the comparison between Shakira, if it is something with Angel, uh, I hope she kind of goes the Shakira route because Shakira is, is better than ever. Okay, what 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 was that her, her quote? I'm not back. I'm better or something like that. Yeah, you know she that. she worked on herself and whatever you know the the the, the trauma and, and the stressors and stuff like that that she had. And we we saw the fruits, you know. She she kicked ass this track season. I'm I'm hoping that that continues on, in, you know, into the Olympics. You feel yeah. me? Now, Angel, hers is kind of uh, flip flop. 
because yep. Shakari had the collegiate uh, success, and then it, we we started paying attention to everything. But she didn't get a chance to go to the Olympics last time and show her talent. Whereas Angel already got a ring. She was already on the biggest stage in, in, in college basketball already. You know what I'm talking about? And now after that fact, now she getting a suspension. Whereas Shakari, her suspension with the marijuana and everything stopped her from going to that biggest stage. You know what I'm talking about? And now she yeah. just not finna go get that. So it's it's a little weirder dynamic, I think. Uh, also, like you talked about with, with, with it not really being amateur no more, she getting that money. I wonder... You know, some people talk about does that mess up the dynamic with the 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 the, the uh, players being able to get their money like that now? Like, okay, no. we know we know Travis Hunter is up there in NIL money, but he still is in awe of Deion Sanders, so that's not gonna be fucked up. Shadur, of course, is getting that money, but that's his daddy. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So that's not gonna mess up that dynamic. But I'm trying to think of the other guy, Caleb Williams. Yeah, gets, gets yeah, money, he, but Lincoln he, Riley, he, 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 Lincoln just he, can't coach defense. I don't think, I don't think his him and uh, his relationship with Caleb or Caleb getting all that NIL money is what stopped USC. I think Lincoln Riley not being able to coach defense <laughs> is what stopped USC. Uh, but with this team, I, I don't know. I don't know because Kim Walker seemed like a motherfucker too. It seemed like I ain't. Angel does seem like she's a firecracker to, to maybe coach. As a former coach, she seems like she could be a firecracker to coach. But Kim Mulkey, goddamn ass, seems like she a firecracker to be coached absolutely, by. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, absolutely. So absolutely. We, absolutely. We, we absolutely. might have this going absolutely, on. Absolutely. Absolutely. now, absolutely. though, you got a girl who got her own money now. Yeah. So, you know, how does that fucking... Work. Kim, 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 Kim has never had a player that outspoken. Kim was always the one that was in front of the camera. You knew what it was finna, what was finna go down. You knew, you knew that. People don't want to hear Kim Moki's thoughts as much as they want to hear Angel Reese's thoughts. Mm -hmm. And that is just because of the age of social media. The 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 allure of what you saw last year in the title game with the Iowa LSU after the fact because you know all that stuff happened inside the game but but my thing is this though this Kim if Kim Mulkey didn't know Angel Reese was like this before this season she fooled herself mm -hmm. and I truly believe she knows what she has in Angel Reese because they all knew who she was when she got there. Mm -hmm. This is no secret. This young lady is from Maryland. She's tough-minded. She don't back down. She going to say her piece. She's a she got a dog mentality about her and she is a baller. But you just got to deal with the 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 outspoken aspect of her. And I think that now, because today's in today's day and age, because of social media and everything, Angel Reese might not necessarily think she's above the team, but because of what's going on around her, people could view her as the 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 plateau of LSU women's basketball. Mm -hmm. It ain't Kim Mulkey. You remember back in our day, we used to we knew the coaches before we knew the players. Mm -hmm. In college basketball speak mm -hmm. but that's not the case anymore it's player than coach so the young lady has just got to figure it out get back out there go play ball people still know who you are your name is solidified in today's society so just go go back get back out there get back on the flow go win another natty with your team get you another mop possibly and then from there, we're going to see you on Tuesdays and Thursdays or whatever. You know, I mean, we're going to see you in the WNBA because she is going to mark. She's going to appeal and she's going to build that league as well. 
So just go back and go, just go get whatever it is you got to get straight. Go get yours and go on to the WNBA and go prosper. Well, I hope that's that, what I'm looking for from the young lady. Uh, uh, well, I yeah, you know I definitely want that. I told folks I think the WNBA is in a, is she's a great. She's not coming to the she's not coming to the uh to the Vegas to Vegas Aces though. I just want you to like know that. Before we, you get off on a tangent, no, no, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna have that pick. We're not gonna have that pick. We finna go, right, all right, we finna right. go three P. But that's another story. Okay, but, well, I don't know. Uh, about that. Yeah. We we finna go three P T. But, but I, I would love for them just let us know what the fuck is going on because all this speculation, I don't like some of the things people are saying. Particularly, it's leading to a lot of racist bullshit out here when you people start saying it's the GPA and stuff. So now they call the girl dumb and all this kind of fuck. The GPA stuff. wasn't like that. If she was not G, if her GPA wasn't like that, then then LSU hid it. Mm -hmm. Correct? What? I, what? Am I wrong? If her GPA was not up to snuff, LSU hid that. Mm -hmm. However, they hid that to get her on the floor. Mm -hmm. So don't start talking to me about grades when this girl done spent the whole year out here on this flow. Mm -hmm. I don't think people just start picking up the books when you've been allowed to just be a to be a basketball player as a collegiate student. When you that level of athlete in them damn programs, don't do that. They do they that. they gonna make sure your ass get them tutors do whatever the fuck they need to do to make exactly. sure you out there playing. Exactly. And, and look, in the age of I'm saying, that's why this speculation out there is so crazy because we know how the game go. We didn't been to college. We know the guy. We ain't been in class with the dude. That ain't nowhere near on the level that she's on. She's elite in her sport. We didn't been in the classroom with some guys who weren't elite, and we still knew. Okay, yeah, this dude in class with me, but th this really is his only fulfillment. Him being here is his contribution <laughs> to his his grades. You know what well, I'm saying? And yeah. some cats, some cats. Didn't even come. That's right. And somehow they were still out there on that goddamn field or court. And 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 today, the difference between us then and them now is artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Who's to say these kids ain't getting papers written by AI? Who who does? Who knows? Like, like who knows? Man, program like LSU, them motherfuckers got tutors out there. Yeah, ain't even got, you ain't mean no tutor no more. I'm talking about the, I'm saying the tutor about using the AI. The, they ain't got to do it. Well, that's true. The, that's true. They got then to then do again, it. I think because of the because of the scholar aspect, they probably would. You know, because you got some scholars out there that would be like, you know, we want to write about the American Revolution or you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Civil War, whatever we, you know. Yeah, I'm a scholar. Damn it, I'm gonna write you a hell of a paper mm -hmm. for these three bands. You know, I mean, it's that, that be their job too. That be their job. Mean, it's you whatever. Know what I mean? and, it's and, whatever. And, and, so this this whole shit just been been wild, been a side show. It has been terrible, uh, and I and I personally think that Kim Mulkey has caught. Listen, it's okay. When you know you got eight spades in your hand and you cutting books, mm -hmm. it's okay. But when you fighting with two and a possible, this shit different. Well, it's going to have to get right <laughs> before they get the conference play and they meet up against South Carolina. Well, that's another story because Mama Don out there got a whole problem that LSU better be ready to deal with. They got and a whole damn, problem. Damn out. show when you get the NCAA time. Uh, cause the way you got that girl out there at USC, I don't you know do what the that. fuck type type of time she on. Yeah, she on a type of time. You man. know what I'm saying? Nothing about like it, it's some girls. It, I know we came into the season wanting to see what Caitlin was gonna do again, but there is some other girls that say, "Hold on, mm -hmm. hold on." Yeah. I I just saw the Brink girl from Stanford just put up a crazy ass stat line today. You talking about uh, Steph's goddaughter? Is that her god? That is goddaughter, right? No, nah, I'm talking about the big white girl, Cameron Brink. That's his godchild. I think that's like his. I ain't cool out, man. He's like his like, goddaughter or something. Oh, I see now. That's that's his god's sister. That's his god's sister. That ain't his goddaughter. That's his god's sister. 
See, it's a lot of storylines. The women's game is in a great it's growing. It's fucking listen, listen, fight. Listen, 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 listen. Just put on something. Let you go and say it. The women's game has surpassed the men's game. Oh, no doubt. College ball, right no now. doubt. Men's game, no great. Great because of the allure of the college, of the tournament. But really and truly, the star power is with the women. Now. I mean, because like, they, they, they're they staying in, in college. It, it, you know what I'm saying? They in college. True. True. But also, you got personalities. But something I was talking about before, though, I said as we as we care more about it and we, we were watching and everything like that, we're going to have more stories like this. Yeah. It seemed like for a while, all the stories, nobody wants to talk bad about anything with the women's game. Yeah. I, I rarely see folks like, Man, what the fuck? Or you know, criticizing the past, or you know, but the more and more we watch, we're gonna have moments where we looking at them like we look at some of the guys and be like, what the fuck y'all doing? Well, type, type I, I would way. I would like this this would be pure for my soul. And I, I'm not I'm not I'm just being purely entertaining at this point, but it would be good for my soul. These are things that I want to know. Okay. How did Connecticut get all that talent in our hate in their heyday. You mean to tell me there wasn't not one bag? Everybody just wanted to go to cold ass Connecticut and play ball. I should never. Did you? But you gonna tell me? You gonna tell like me Tarazi come all the way from the West Coast to play ball on the East Coast and it was okay? You know I don't like Gino, so I'm gonna plead the fifth on you. Okay, and then also I would like to ask the question. How did Cheryl Swoops end up at Texas Tech? Now, I think she is a Texas girl. Mm -hmm. But you mean to tell me big Texas? Texas Longhorn didn't, like, go pull a bag out and go get her to come there? How'd that happen? I think Cheryl, it's Cheryl, it's, I think Cheryl got a uh, a knuckleheads interview out there that kind of talks. I'm going to have to send you that. I have questions. I'm going to have to send you that. I'm gonna send, but you know what I'm saying, though, more and more as, he got, as the game grows, you know, people gonna ask more questions, and it, the the good, you know, you gonna have the good, you gonna have the bad. This is one of those situations that's that's bad, but hopefully it gets rectified so we can see this team at full strength. Because I don't want no goddamn excuses if they run up against a South Carolina and lose or something like that. I don't want I don't want us to say, well, will they would they have won if Angel was playing? You know, all that kind of shit. We want to see everybody. And full strength, and and, and uh, see who's gonna goddamn win this thing. Cause that that tournament this year, shit, it's gonna be litty. I'm, it's I'm gonna be to crazy. I need to know where the tickets gonna be at. It's gonna <laughs> be crazy. Well, real ones, y'all chime in. Let us know what y'all think about uh, the Andrew Reese situation as it continues. We still don't have uh, any more answers yet. Okay, and. Uh, like I said previously, some are comparing it to what we saw with Shakari Richardson. What say you? Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.